hello guys welcome back to my channel so the new twist in unfortunate love is that lakshmi is actually ruan and parvati's mother so which means that lakshmi gave birth to twins which is parvati and rohan a baby girl and a baby boy but how did rohan now end up with the obroy family and how did lakshmi lost her son rohan everything about that you'll find out in this video please keep watching this video till the end so let me start from where Malishka decided to kill Virendra and put the blame on Lakshmi so that Lakshmi can be thrown out of the house and then she, Malishka, will get Rishi to herself. So Malishka called a man, a mechanic, to come and fill Virendra's car. And then don't forget that at that period, at that moment, Lakshmi has lost her memory and she is behaving like a child. So Malishka took Lakshmi's toy and put it under the car after they have already filled the car break and then when lakshmi was looking for her toy malishka directed lakshmi to go and search for the toy under the car while lakshmi was busy searching for her toy under the car malishka took a video of lakshmi under the car with the impression that lakshmi was failing virendra's car so after all that has happened Virendra wanted to go for a business meeting and then Lakshmi decided to follow Virendra so that Virendra can drop Lakshmi in any temple that is nearby because Lakshmi feels that she needs to pray because everyone keep putting blame on her about everything that goes wrong in the house. So Lakshmi wanted to go to the temple to pray. So as they were going in the car that Malishka had already filled the break, don't forget, then their car got into an accident and then Virendra was hanging on the car. So Virendra was about to die and Lakshmi was trying every of her possible best in order to save Virendra. But unfortunately, Lakshmi couldn't save Virendra with all the attempt and everything. And finally, Virendra fell down and he fell into the valley from the cliff. And that was how Virendra actually was presumed to be dead. After Lakshmi um, witnessed this, Lakshmi remembered how her father and her mother also died in their village when they were going for her marriage. And that was how Lakshmi's memory finally came back. So after Lakshmi regained her memory, after seeing how Virendra died, after Lakshmi regained her memory, Ayush and Rishi got to the accident scene and then they quickly rushed Virendra to the hospital. So on getting to the hospital, um, don't forget that Lakshmi too faints after everything happened. She has regained her memory and then she fainted. So after that, they took Lakshmi as well to the same hospital where Virendra was also admitted. Ayush consoled Rishi and asked him not to um, lose hope that Virendra will be fine. So as Virendra was in the ward receiving treatment, Malishka went to the ward and she removed the oxygen mask in order to kill Virendra finally. But unfortunately for Malishka, she was not successful or she did not succeed. And then everybody, the family member came to the ward. Don't forget that Lakshmi was also admitted to the same hospital. So Lakshmi was in another ward receiving treatment. So immediately Lakshmi woke up. Lakshmi remembered everything that happened on the cliff. And Lakshmi was telling the nurse that she needs to go and see Virendra. So while Lakshmi was struggling with the nurse in the ward, the doctor comes to the Obrey um, family and break the news to the family that Virendra has gone into coma and they don't even know when he will regain his memory or when he will come out of coma. On hearing this, Neelam lost it completely and Neelam got angry and, you know, she started crying. Then Lakshmi came out of the ward and after Rishi realized that Lakshmi has regained her memory, Rishi got emotional and hugged Lakshmi and then everyone were happy that Lakshmi has regained her memory. But don't forget that Malishka actually took the video of Lakshmi under the car. So this is where Malishka now played a game. Malishka has already, you know, turned Nilam against Lakshmi by showing her the video of Lakshmi under the car earlier. So after Lakshmi came out of the world, that was how Malishka confronted Lakshmi, that it was Lakshmi that made Virendra to be in this condition. So Nilam also agreed with Malishka and Nilam put the blame on Lakshmi. And Nilam um, accused Lakshmi of being the one responsible for Virendra's condition. 
So with this, everybody keep on blaming Lakshmi, even though Lakshmi was trying to explain to them that she was even trying to save Virendra, that she is innocent. But no, nobody wants to listen to her. But unfortunately, what broke Lakshmi's heart was that Rishi also supported them at the end. So Rishi also blamed Lakshmi and accused Lakshmi of being the one that is responsible for his father's condition. So Nilam consoled um, Rishi and, you know, ask him not to cry so because of this accusation lakshmi got angry and she went back to the obrey house and she packed a bag and she decided to leave the obrey house so while lakshmi was leaving the obrey house nilam and rishi got back home and rishi just passed beside lakshmi and walked away because he was angry because he also felt that lakshmi was responsible for virendra's condition so while in the train going to her village because Lakshmi decided to go to her village. So while she was in the train, unfortunately, the train met with an accident. And while the accident was happening, Lakshmi's bangu and her train ticket actually went straight to another woman that is already dead in the train. So because it was a fire accident now, it was a fire um, train accident. So the face of the person was damaged and that was how everybody concluded that it was Lakshmi me that died in the train so while rishi and ayush goes to check while they were burning the dead body lakshmi was behind them but lakshmi couldn't see them and they couldn't see lakshmi as well and rishi cried bitterly after believing that yes lakshmi is dead he blamed himself for you know sending lakshmi away for not listening to her and now lakshmi is dead according to the obrey family so on getting back home malishka decided to use that opportunity to pet rishi and make him feel good and get close to him so after the train accident lakshmi went back to the hospital in order to do a checkup and that was where lakshmi discovered that she is pregnant and she remembered when they were in the uncompleted building after their marriage she remembered how they consummated their marriage in the uncompleted building after they got married you remember that right so lakshmi remembered that and she realized that she is pregnant with that marriage consummation and that was where the show now took a seven year sleep so after seven years lakshmi was seen with a baby girl in the village acting or she is now a village teacher and then rishi is still in the city but he is now seen with a baby boy which is of the same age with lakshmi's daughter and then rishi is now calling the baby boy his son and we all assumed at the beginning at first that after the seven years sleep rishi got married to malishka that was everybody's assumption before but recently ztv just produced this scene of where they showed us that rohan is actually not malishka and rishi's son rohan is actually still lakshmi's son so which means lakshmi gave birth to twins with that pregnancy that she took to the village seven years ago so how now did Lakshmi lost her son Rohan and how come the Obrey family now got Rohan because if you see the way Nilam loved this Rohan eh in fact the love is too much so how did Lakshmi lost her son Rohan keep watching so it happens that two years after Lakshmi gave birth to her children which are twins Rohan and Parvati Lakshmi was worried that Rohan was not talking. Meanwhile, Parvati was already talking. So Lakshmi decided to take both Rohan and little Parvati, the little of them, they were two years old then. So Lakshmi decided to take them to the hospital in order to do checkup to find out why Rohan was not talking when Parvati is already talking and they were twins, which means they are of the same age. So why is one not talking and why is the other one already acting and behaving normal and stuff? So on getting to the hospital, the doctor assured Lakshmi that everything is fine with Rohan and with time, Rohan is going to be okay and is going to talk. So Lakshmi carried her two children and then she went to the waiting area in the hospital. So she went to wait for Shalu to come so that Shalu can bring a rickshaw that is also a tricycle for them to now, you know, transport themselves back home. So while waiting at the waiting area, that was how Lakshmi was playing with her twin children. And then Rohan now called Lakshmi mom. So hearing little Rohan calling her mom, Lakshmi got so emotional and she was shocked. 
and she carried Rohan and she begins to play with him and you know Parvati was also playing in one of the baby toys that is at the waiting area in the hospital so Lakshmi was playing with her baby and she got happy and with that happiness Lakshmi took her phone and called Shalu to come quickly to come and pick them but unfortunately outside the hospital there was a riot going on and then Shalu couldn't go to the hospital quickly because of the riot so Lakshmi took her children and she went outside the hospital, you know, to check what is going on. And that was where she found out that there was riots around the area, so she cannot go. So she now wanted to go back inside the hospital, but unfortunately, the hospital guard refused to let her in. So without any choice, Lakshmi decided to carry her children and she was running during the riot stuff. So to cut the long story short, the riot continues like that and every time they try to arm any of her children, Lakshmi would defend her children and then she would beat the goons and stuff. So Shalutu was trying to get to Lakshmi to reach her so that nothing would happen to Lakshmi and her children but then Shalu also couldn't get to Lakshmi. So the riot continued like that and Lakshmi continued to safeguard and to protect her twin children until a moment where a goon hit Lakshmi with a rod on her head from the back and that was how Lakshmi lost consciousness and her children were on the floor beside her and she lost consciousness. By the time Lakshmi would regain consciousness, she couldn't find both Parvati and Rohan beside her. The little children are gone and she begins to wonder where her children are. So by that time, Shalu also got to Lakshmi and they begin to look for Rohan and Parvati. So at the end of the day, Lakshmi finally found the baby girl, which is Parvati. And then they begin to look for Rohan. So by the time they will find Rohan, the little Rohan, the little boy was sitting down. And then one goon was driving a bicycle, like... Is it a bicycle or a bike? Okay, let me call it a bike. One goon was driving rashly with a bike. And all of a sudden, the bike caught fire. Before Lakshmi could carry Rohan, the goon's bike caught fire and there was fire everywhere. And that was how everybody believed that Rohan died in that fire. And that was how Lakshmi cried. She grieved and everything. But then she accepted that her son, Rohan, is dead in the fire. So how now did Rohan, who was presumed to be dead in the fire that happened during the riot, how did that same Rohan now end up with the Obroy family? That is what ZTV is yet to show us till now. Until now, since the beginning of the seven years sleep, I have not set my eyes on Malishka. Malishka is nowhere to be found in the series, which means that uh, more story and more twist is coming up very soon. But then... This is how Lakshmi lost her son, Rohan. So Lakshmi is also Rohan and Parvati's mother. But she lost her son during a riot when she took her children to the hospital for checkup. So during that riot, she lost Rohan. But how did Rohan get to the Obrey family uh, and become Rishi's son without them knowing that Rohan is actually Lakshmi's son and Rishi's son as well? So... um. Once that comes out, I will definitely, definitely update you guys on how Rohan got to the Obrey family, how Rohan became Rishi's son without all the Obrey family knowing that Lakshmi is actually the mother of Rohan. And now, Lakshmi has met Rohan and Parvati has met Rishi. Now, Rishi loves Parvati, Lakshmi loves Rohan, but Lakshmi did not know that Rohan is her lost son. While Rishi did not know that Parvati is his daughter. The story is just kind of twisted and stuff. But then it is getting interesting actually. So I've decided to be giving you guys the upcoming episode of everything that happened before, during the period that Virendra died and the seven years sleep. So I'll be giving you guys all that update. Probably I'll start by tomorrow. But then you now understand and you now know how come Lakshmi lost her son Rohan and you now know that now Rishi did not actually get married to Malishka. Malishka was actually nowhere to be found and then we don't know what happened. So later in the future, we'll get to find out what happened to Malishka after the seven years sleep and how the Obre family got Rohan and adopted him and then Lakshmi did not know that Rohan is still her son. 
okay guys i hope that answers your question this video is already long i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys